Frankie's garden started. Uh, let's see. Right here, we've got some strawberries. These are actually last year's. They go on down through here, but not all of them are doing so hot. And then we've got uh, a couple of shallots there, bed of onions. These are all actually last year's too. They volunteered themselves again this year. Then we've got uh, Cherokee purple. Some pineapple tomatoes and then what on the peppers here? This is peppers, jalapeno, jalapeno, big Jim chilies, big Jim chilies, and we got our gypsy peppers, gypsies, and then purple bells. And this and is the back row, we got some Roma tomatoes. Yep, yeah, Roma's on the other side of the gate there. We're gonna put some sweet peas on that fence there, sugar snap. Yeah, sugar snap peas on the fence. This is uh, Big Larry's garden over here. Who knows what he's got going? Tomatoes, it looks he's like. He's got beef steaks. He's got celebrities. He's got double lock cucumbers. He's got sweet banana peppers. He's got cayenne. And I think that's all so far. He's not done yet though either. And then I think Frank said this whole section here is going to be pretty much squash. Have a little bit of corn down at this <clears throat> Squash and some corn and a little bit of beans. Beans. And a little bit of cat pea. And some more onions. And some more onions. So, we've got that done today. Uh, we actually went today and did a long video. Uh, <laughs> Tell you what we did. This is funny. Uh, yeah, we went and did a, about a two and a half or three hour tour of downtown Greenville of all the historical sites. And went through all the different museums, and, except for one, and got home and realized that we didn't have a memory stick in the camera. So here soon we're going to make that trip again. We'll do some. Uh, we'll get the one we missed, and we'll get to the museum that we missed. But here soon, probably next week or week after, we'll do the the downtown historical tour again but for today we're doing the garden and I guess tonight we're going camping yeah. we're going to do a camping trip tonight so we'll have that video up too soon or up soon too also also as well as stuff included bonus in addition to yeah my arms are getting hard I'm tired of holding this big old tripod so right well we're going to go out front and Plant this last tomato plant here. I always throw me a sweet 100 cherry out there by my fence at the driveway. Any of my guests or any friends come over to visit, on your way by, grab your handful. They're tasty and healthy, and it's a good treat. Frankie was also so kind as to give me some plants there to get my garden started with this year. It's going to be the first year I've had a garden at my house, so we're going to document that as best we can. Yeah. Anybody's got any questions or anything you want to know about it, just give us a shout. We ain't uh, garden geniuses, but know quite a bit. We grew up on a farm. So. We're on our way today. We're going to go get some more veggies for the garden so we can finish planting and getting everything done. Then we're going to stop at our favorite biscuit and gravy place for breakfast. That sound good to you, Larry? Yeah. All right. You ready to go? Yes, Dad. All right. We're on the way, guys. Tomato, ooh look, Charleston gray cucumbers, sugar, oh them's watermelons, 
Charleston Gray, Sugar Babies, Black Diamond. We're going to get some watermelon. Cool. We got to talk. We want to get the big ones. Ooh, honeydew melons. We want honeydews? No, we want to get the big ones. Big. Watermelon? Alright, let's see what's over here. Here's okra. I don't want any okra. No. There's zucchini. We got to get us some zucchinis. We need to get crick and neck squash. We like squash. See, here's bell peppers. We've already got a good red selection beauty. of peppers. Sweet peppers. Red beauty, red sweet. Yeah. We don't have those. We can get some if you want. Yeah. But we've already got quite a bit of peppers at the house. Let's see. We've already got the purple bells. We got sweet bananas. No, look these giant Marconis. What are them? Last year. Ooh, Italian. No, we had Big Jim Chili's last year. We got them. Giant. And Italian grilling has a sweet, smoky flavor. Let's try some of those. Grab us a flat. All right. We're going to try some of these this year. We'll see how they do. We've not had them before. Let's see. We'll come back here. Well, stay right there, Larry. I'm going to come get us a box to put those in. Been here so long, I know where they hide everything. Been coming here for years. I always have good veggies at this place. There you go. Let's put that in there. All right. Hold on a second. Just Right here, crick and neck squash. Let's see, dollar fifty a flat, and there's three. Four fifty. Let's see, we need our zucchini. There was four. Okay, let's see. Go get some biscuits and gravy now. Have us a bite to eat. Nice little place to go. We come here all the time. Give a shout out to Roadside Station Garden and Gifts. They're on the Horton Highway. That's right. We are every year, ain't we, Larry? Yeah. Good place to go. Friendly people. A lot of knowledge they like to share with you. If you got any questions, they know what to tell you. Well, we're off now. We're going to shut down, head back on the road, and we'll get you more when we're planting. Later. So, uh, I'm just going to run the camera and make funny comments and pretend to pick my nose for him. How's that? All right, I'm going to turn it over to Frank. Here you go. All right, we're getting some more goodies down that we picked up the other day and a couple Josh gave me and we had a nice surprise coming out here this morning when we was looking over by the tomatoes and we have a lot of volunteer squash coming up. One that we tilled under last year. Is that a, another volunteer squash? Uh, that's our helper today, Mr. Larry. Say hi to the camera, Larry. There you are. Say hi, Larry. That's when you say, hi, Larry. Bringing us some seeds today, are yeah, you? he's not in the mood. Oh, we got seeds. Let's see. We got our early Alaska garden peas. They're like sugar snap peas. They do good. Taste good. Got some cilantro. Probably not going to do the herb garden part today. Radishes. Carrots, broccoli, lettuce, green beans, and we got some of these uh, chives. They'll go in with the herb part of it. We'll get them later. We may not get everything in today, but we're going to get a start on it. Here's our other lovely assistant, Miss Melissa. 
and she brought us some more. We've already got some planted, but we're going to throw a couple in from seeds. Cherokee Purple Heirlooms, compliments to my mom, Sharon Thompson. Thank you, Mom. Or cilantro. Alright. We're just throwing down some cabbage, broccoli, and was there a cauliflower in there? No. Cabbage and broccoli. Cabbage and broccoli. Uh, the, the broccoli, I believe, is an early jersey. And the, uh, the cabbage is... I can't remember now. I'll put it in the bottom of the video. It's a, little cool. it's a cool little tool you got there. Yeah, I've had it for years. Can't remember exactly where I ever picked it up at, but pretty handy dandy little dude. Just throwing them down in there. That one's actually got two in it, so that's cool. Let me get Chinese Ground's already nice and wet from the rain we've been having, so it's really not a big issue getting water right now. all you got going on over here? We got some giant Marciani, Marciano peppers, some zucchini. Look at other goodies there. It's cooking neck squash there. Is that what that is? Yep, we got two trays of cooking neck. Yep, cooking neck squash. And some giant Marconi peppers. Is that the ones you said were Italian grilling peppers? Yeah, something new I found this year. What are these two little guys here? Those are oh, green those, bells. That's the green bells. Okay. We got and some honeydew. Early dew. And some Charleston gray watermelon. Charleston gray watermelons. And we got more onions, but I ain't they may not go in today. We got a mix of some more white and yellows. Let's see. I think we'll throw in a row of peppers next. The squash, they tend to get kind of wild, so we usually try to make a big patch of just them so that they're doing their own thing together. We'll throw one of these bells right here and then we'll put one at the beginning of the next row. When I plant them down I usually like to go up to the first set of leaves when I bury the stalk. It gives you a little bit stronger base they grow a little good that way makes them sturdy don't pack it real tight just nice and easy you don't want to kill it snicker snicker <laughs> I never really measure anything in my garden these things will bush out probably about that big around about that tall so I give them enough room they can make it it was just yesterday Never been too much of a ramping Yeah, but baby, I think I like this game of play Go on and lead me on Frank What's up with this weed?
Thank you for pushing me down. Go on and lead me on. I'm going to give you a quick view of what Josh is doing real quick. We were talking about the volunteers. I had a squash laid on the ground all year. Dried out and I just tilled it under when I tilled this up. And all over here, all these little dudes are volunteer crookneck squash. And I've got probably, I would guess, 20 or 30 of them all over this area so Josh is getting him some to take home so he can have some good squash there too yeah yeah we use a lot of squash around here in stir fry and all kinds of stuff like that in the summer summertime I eat usually pretty healthy just mainly out of the garden and off of my grill. Well, that's about all we're going to do for today. I may come out and add some more in the morning. I'm going to come out this evening if my father doesn't and soak it down good when the sun's off everything so it soaks in good. But we have got a pretty good start on it this year. We'll keep you posted as it goes and show you the harvests and everything else we get. we got Pops has got his right here. His onion patch. We've got everything else. But anybody's got any questions? We ain't pros, but been doing it for years and I was raised on a farm so I kinda got the tricks figured out for most of it. But uh be glad to answer any questions we can. Anybody wants to come over and check it out, give us a shout. Appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe and share if you haven't already and help get the word out there things and stuff place to be thank you maybe then you turn and walk away